Welcome back to Houston Life. When it comes to what's hot in the menu at local restaurants, this next guest always brings her good taste to the table. We love Tangi here with her refreshing sips and bites, perfect for the summer season. Welcome back, friend of the show, Tangi Patton of Good Taste TV. Listen, Tangi, it is so great to have you on the show. You're one of our favorite guests, and you always make everything look so beautiful. Well, I, I can't take much credit for this. I mean, when you're bringing on some of Houston's finest, it, it's easy for things to look good, right? And you do have some of the best restaurants represented. Uh, do you want to chat about the dishes that you brought? Yes, so I wanted to kind of highlight. We've got restaurant weeks coming up here in a couple of weeks, so there's a lot of big things going on on the, on the Houston food scene, but this time of year, especially in light of what everyone has been through since barrel, yeah. um, it's hotter than ever, it's humid and, and whatnot, so I was looking for things that are fun, light, summary, right? And some refreshing drinks to go with. So I brought some of my favorites. Um, if you haven't been to Fat Eatery, Phenomenal, phenomenal restaurant. Uh, Malaysian food, so many great flavors. This is one of my favorite dishes they do. This is the caribou prawn. And it does, I, I like it here anytime. Wow. But they are jumbo shrimp, and I'm talking jumbo. You've got shredded papaya, mango, peanuts on there, and a sweet and tangy, a little bit spicy sauce drizzled on top. It is an absolutely fabulous dish. It's great to share if you're with a group. Beautiful. Uh, and it could be an entree all by itself. And I have to give a shout out. You know, we lost Chef Alex we did. this year. And uh, super amazing individual. And so anyway, to all your friends and family, his memory lives on. Yeah, and his it does. food is I'm like sorry. a work of art. I mean, I, I, and he, after an illness, right? a lot of us just were so surprised at his passing. Yeah, so young, so young. Yeah. So, Fat Eatery out in Katy, uh, it's fantastic. It really is good. They have a lot of wonderful things, the hot food, of course, but anyway, it's great. Okay, I've been going to the Houstonian probably since, I'm going to date myself, but that's all right, <laughs> since the 80s. It, literally, we used to staycation there all the time. They have, oh, yeah. especially if you have kids, it's a great place to staycation. So, I wanted to feature the Houstonian. This time of the summer, it is a great staycation, right? Whether you go for a couple of days, they have a, a week, whatever, beautiful pools, great things for the kids, an unbelievable gym, yeah. and a fantastic spa. The spa so, is next level. Actually, Liz, we should go while you're here. In yes. We love it. And we should order this dish. This, That's like a work of art. It seems like the place to become rejuvenated, not, you know, you need, when you need the vacation yeah. after the vacation. Well, it sounds like this. And you're on, what, 20-some-odd yeah. acres in the middle of Uptown. It's, it's absolutely it's gorgeous. And this is a beautiful quinoa-crusted quinoa salmon that they do at Tribute. If you haven't been to the Houstonians restaurant, tribute. It's quite amazing. It's really incredible service. Of course, great food. And they feature Texas dishes uh, south of the border and Louisiana. So it's some wonderful food. That's their beautiful quinoa salmon. And you get a little health benefit, salmon and quinoa, both uh, combined. And this is an interesting chimichurri. It's a sweet pea chimichurri. It's not something you see very often. All, usually chimichurris are done with herbs, but this is done with peas, and it adds another nutritional component. So I thought that was kind of and fun. pea is the perfect protein. It yes, so yes. Let's do it. Thank My you, exercise Are you a yoga yes. expert? <laughs> Absolutely. And then they do a white sangria. And this is their version done with a Sauvignon Blanc. And Derek, you're welcome to try that. Ooh. Sorry. W one of us in the family drinks. Sorry, Mom. At least one of your kids turned out well. <laughs> My sister. Ooh. Look at all this gorgeousness. All the fruits cut up. It makes it so much fun. Yes, less, well, right? yeah, they do a great job. That is beautiful. It is. That it's is a very, great, very nice. it, it really is a very good sangria. Oh, and what I brought for you is non-alcoholic. This is a great product. This is toast. H-E-B sells this, and it is a non-alcoholic sparkling. I've seen some places refer to it as a sparkling white tea. Oh. It's got ginger in it, um, some other beautiful little components. What but a clever name, toast like cheers. It's lovely. Yeah, Beautiful. and it's got an incredible effervescence, and I think that's what makes it so approachable as a sparkling. The effervescence value is huge. I love so it's, it. It's what, a good. What's it, it taste like? Here, like a, like like a, a sparkling party. white tea. It tastes <laughs> like, like a party candy in came to oh. studio today. <laughs> Thank you. I don't mind if I do. Yeah, okay. no, that's that's a good one. And then the other one I brought. Mm is new from Josh. This is called Sea Swift. This is the ultimate perfect summer wine. It is a blend of Sauvignon Blanc and Pinot Grigio. So it's light. It's got the fruit components that come from that Pinot Grigio and then that you know Sauvignon Blanc adds a certain zippiness to it. It's just a fun, perfect um, summer wine. It's a, it's a beautiful bottle too. I yeah. can see that in a cooler. Fun. 
Oh, Very it's it's so easy. Yeah. So H E B for those. And then Kinney and Ziggy's. This is a chilled um, Hungarian soup. It's a chilled sour cherry soup. It's a tradition in Hungary and, and other countries in uh, Eastern Europe as well. But it celebrates the cherry season in the summer, and they usually get a late harvest. And um, Kinney and Ziggy celebrate this dish every single summer. I know that soup. It is a legendary soup. Yes. I tried that as it's, well. It's good and rich and just yummy. You got a pina okay. colada recipe you're yes. going to whip up for and us. And I probably used all the time telling you all about everything else. But I'll go yeah, fast, Heather. You can do it. Okay, we've got this. I thought I'd let you mix this. So oh, yes. this is an interesting twist on a pina colada using beer, right? So I prefer any non-hoppy beer. Okay. If you like a real hoppy beer, what the heck, go okay. for it. So I'm going to guide you through this. So we've poured half the beer out. Oh. <laughs> Oh, go ahead and pour it. We won't make it in, in the beer glass. Okay. We'll just do it. We'll I'm do it. it. You can already. actually do it. I made it at home in the beer glass. Uh, all, the, all the beer in here? Half of it? All of it. Okay. Because we're going to make it in a glass beer. instead Pina of the beer. Pina colada with beer? I've never heard it's of such kinda a thing, interesting. Angie. Okay. So onto that, you're going to add about three ounces of pineapple juice. Okay. You tested this recipe beforehand, right? Yes, <laughs> okay, I did I'm it. Kidding. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you. Okay. And then you're going to add an ounce of the creme de cacao. This is a beautiful product. If you've never used this, uh, oh. I, I love Goria anything, but this is a really good product they do. Oh. Uh, pina coladas, anything, a lot of the Thai dishes and whatnot use this ingredient. And theirs is amazing. Okay, a couple of ounces of white rum. White rum, okay. That's what I add from. to this recipe is a little more lime juice than usual, ju usual just because that's me. A couple and ounces. Let's add a little bit of ice. Just okay. to give it a little, excuse me, a chill factor because if it is a beer drink, you want it nice and cold. Interesting. I mean, this is—is is it a common thing now that that some pina coladas are being made with with no. beer? No. You know who gave me this recipe? Um, if you're not following Fernando Desa, Chef Fernando Desa, I should say, with Goya, he's on Instagram. He has so many different interesting recipes. And I was scrolling one day and I saw this, and it got my attention because of the beer factor, and this time of year in in Texas, right? So give it a shot, okay. see what you think. Okay, let me give it a whirl. It's been a minute since I've had a pina colada. <laughs> okay, this is a trip because it tastes like a pina colada, but it smells like a beer. Right, it, I so, agree. It, it really does, does kind of confuse your senses, right? <laughs> Oh my gosh, Tangi, this is unexpected <laughs> and fun, and it's always it beautiful. Thanks for showcasing some of our favorite restaurants in town. Um, we, yeah, we yeah, have a cheers our to work Tana. Cheers, we sure do. Cheers to you. A toast. A toast. Uh, and a toast again to the late. Welcome Chef Alex. to Houston. Aww, um, thank you. And thanks, by the way, to uh, Cool Linscom for providing. Oh my goodness, this beautiful yeah. Tablescape. It really Amazing. does look great. As always, we will be sharing a link to get the dishes she featured on today's show. Just visit our website, HoustonLife.tv. And a reminder: you can catch Good Taste with Tangi. Angie on KPRC2 this weekend. 